guys and welcome back to another vlog if you are new here hi my name is Leandra I'm a very very proud Duke Law graduate a current New York City lawyer slash law clerk and an incoming New York City big law attorney um, we're gonna differentiate between the two because I have not gotten fully uh, barred yet I have to go through the process and I don't want I don't want problems with them people you know what I mean so yeah <laughs> welcome today officially marks my third week the beginning of my third week of living in New York City and my second week of work but this week I actually might start getting substantive assignments so it's just really exciting I'm proud of us we've started it we're doing it and I'm excited this week I really want to focus on starting to get my routines together um, like I mentioned in the last vlog something I just learned from orientation if there was one thing I learned from orientation is that I really need to get organized like yesterday and it's gonna be very important to have very a very very strong base a very very strong routine um, I had one in Dallas while I was there and I'm just trying to reintegrate that into my time here um, so we're gonna we're gonna try and do that it is currently 5 30 I'm about to hit the gym um and yesterday I got a very good lesson on consistency commitment and just sticking to what I say I'm gonna do for my DoorDash driver who stole my he totally stole my food yesterday and it was one of the most infuriating things because I actually waited quite a while longer than I've ever waited for food in New York to be delivered and it was like you know an entree an appetizer and a dessert but he he was low he right because why am I ordering all of that why am I ordering all of that at 9 30 it was very I needed to learn my lesson and he was the one sent to teach it to me so you know what hearts to him <laughs> anyway we've got my pre-workout my nice little glasses this is the only pre-workout i use and i recommend cheers to a good week <laughs> This is just going to be the OCD corner over here, but I am so happy with my outfit today. I feel so good. It's good to start Monday looking good, feeling good. My hair turned out good with my heatless curls. Like, I'm just really doing it. The top is thrifted. The bottom is Stradivarius. I know you guys can't see the whole full fit, but I have my little silver heel tap shoes from nine west i'm so excited to be wearing these today like i was thinking maybe i wouldn't because what if it's not professional but i think people have a very strange idea about what professional is and it can differ depending on where you are where your office is what where you're practicing your practice group blah 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 like a bunch of things and these are very professional they're just like fun and i love them um we have my coach bag that i unboxed in the last video that is going out with me today i'm so excited for her she gets to see the world through my eyes for the first time today like she's just gorgeous look at her she's beautiful i'm so happy and then what else we're taking probably these reeboks are gonna be the ones that i'm gonna walk to the subway with and then i have my black h m coat that i'm gonna put on um i cool down so i should not sweat too much on the subway today but we never know. I got caught up in a daydream. The kids in the audience caused a fuss, and the orchestra left in a fit. But our songs on the radio. Look 
welcome back home we're really out here working a nine to five which is kind of kind of like a nine to five but i mean right now it is a nine to five um because i don't have anything staffed yet we had our staffing meeting earlier today i thought i was gonna get staffed on things like we all thought we were gonna get staffed on things but it was mostly just going over how staffing worked in the practice area that i am in right now for my first rotation uh, things like vacation asking for vacations in this particular uh, practice group and such so on and so forth but i'm home now um i've been doing mostly just like administrative things like learning how to um, log my time learning how to <laughs> just use my tech um, because at some point my zoom just was not working today it was like a whole thing but it is just and I look a little crazy but it is just like you know normal like we're starting to settle into just waking up going to work doing whatever I need to at work and then coming home and that is an interesting process I'm excited for it right now I know at some point I won't be <laughs> but it's just interesting it's interesting that that's like i'm an adult i'm an adult right now that's kind of crazy i was uh, on my way home on the subway sometimes things just like happen and i'm just like what what is new york like i'm on the subway on my way home and this man behind me goes excuse me i turn around and he has an entire city bike on the subway station like he's bringing it down the stairs taking up all of the space i'm like there's no way that you're allowed to have this in here but he's like walking it past cops and they don't care it was just so funny and then on my way to work actually on the subway platform before i enter to you know take the subway the there's a cop <laughs> there's a cop arguing with this other guy that obviously they had no relation i don't know why they got into it but they got into it and the cop was like yeah that's why i'm out here making money <laughs> like what <laughs> sir <laughs> new york is really just i don't know what's going on in new york I, I i don't know it's just so just so entertaining um but we're home now i think i'm gonna do another thing just another like training video um but i'm trying to figure out what to do for dinner i do have this like octopus that i gotten that i got and i would like to have some pan seared octopus right but also i don't want to cook but we did say we we're trying to get into our routines but <laughs> Because yesterday my Uber driver stole my food and Uber or DoorDash could only give me DoorDash credit by girl math. That is now free money. <laughs> ah! I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. Well, if this is the frosting time, I'm going to cook this. to google whether or not it was fine to eat raw octopus turns out you have to do so much more to an octopus to cook it the way that i've had it like the best octopus i've ever had was in miami the one hotel south beach their rooftop hotel like the rooftop restaurant just their octopus is the best thing in the world but turns out <laughs> there's a lot more that goes into it to make it that good right so i'm gonna be fine and it didn't taste bad it's just the octopus itself was really tough so my jaw kind of hurts right now and the sauce i made with it though was fantastic and i think maybe i'm an adult enough to admit when i just want to eat rice with soy sauce and onions and garlic because i think that's really what i wanted <laughs> but i was trying to throw in a little protein in there and it's just <laughs> also it just dawned on me randomly <laughs> when i was eating dinner that I'm now like on full time, like I'm I'm a first year associate slash law clerk, whatever. And if they needed me right now, I would have to log in. <laughs> I would have to log in right now at 7 p.m. Because I'm just like winding down. I'm turning off all the lights. I was thinking to myself, maybe I should take a little melatonin and really end this night on a on a good note. But then. Then it dawned on me, what if I take a melatonin, then I get an email. 
it begins. It begins. <laughs> it begins. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I did not vlog yesterday. And so many things happened. Nothing that I can obviously show on camera. And there's a lot of things that I just I'm not gonna be able to show on camera because confidentiality, right? And we we're not trying to get in trouble or anything like that. But your girl is officially staffed on her first deal as of yesterday. So I had a an initial meeting with my partner advisor. So I have a partner advisor in my practice group, then I have a an associate mentor, then I have a diversity mentor. So the diversity mentor is not in the practice group. Um, I forget which practice group she's in, but my partner advisor and my associate mentor are in the same practice group. And essentially I'm supposed to be staffed on all of their deals, um, sitting on all of their phone calls, basically the majority of all their phone calls, anything like that. So yesterday was my first time just like meeting my partner advisor just like saying hello and everybody else that's been meeting their uh, partner advisors has been very like you know chill mine was really chill too very nice person got to meet up hello hello immediately sat on, sat in on a call because they're so busy <laughs> so they had a call i sat in 100 percent was confused in the call 100 percent confused in the call because <laughs> it's just like not just banking but i'm feeling like all of the lingo there's there's just a lot of lingo is what i'm trying to say like there's a lot of lingo in law there's a lot of lingo in banking but the one thing i really appreciate about starting right now um is it's very opposite from law school where there was just no one wanted to admit during the first year that we didn't know what was going on that we didn't understand what was being said to us sometimes here it's like not only are the partners and their associates being like hey listen we understand that you're not gonna understand this there's a lot of lingo it's gonna take a little bit for you to catch up but also just my class in general is way more comfortable with telling each other like hey what's happening <laughs> but yeah sign on this call there was a lot of lingo I didn't understand, but, you know, I could pick up, okay, this is secure transactions. Okay. Um, then he explains to me, like, a deal. Turns out I am now on this deal um, because it's less, it's a little bit less formal than I expected it to be. But he was just like, if I have this thing going on, this is what it is. Come sit in on this call. I thought I was just sitting on the call. Turns out I'm on the deal because I started getting the emails. So I'm like, okay, cool. And then an hour later, I'm sitting on this call with the vice president of this really big company. And I just really felt like, wow, I'm just a girl. <laughs> I'm really just the girl because I don't understand what you guys are really talking about. I'm going to. That's the thing. It's like I'm confused right now. I will start understanding it's just it's gonna take me just a little bit you know it's gonna take me just a little bit but it was just very surreal to just be like wow like i'm just saying this meeting essentially with this these very important people that's crazy <laughs> like did not think this was how my day was gonna go but you know let's be honest it's part of the reasons why you know you come to new york to do big law or you go to one of the bigger places to do big law um and you, you pick the firms that you do to go do big law in because you know you get hands-on experience and you get these really big deals with these companies and that you use their products and you are dealing with every day in your everyday life so it was very exciting but at the same time i was like okay i'm confused i made up confused and my partner advisor is like i get it <laughs> and my associate partner is like yeah and you know what it's a, it's a little confusing but you know you you get there and i can answer any of the questions so that happened yesterday um today though we have picture day my skin is clearing up exactly when it needs to thank you jesus thank you jesus and i only had my period for three days which is almost unheard of, given the fact that I have an IUD. So it's just like, am I God's favor? <laughs> am I God's favor right now? Because, wow, I got a decent amount of sleep. Could have definitely used more, but that's okay. We got a decent amount of sleep. I'm about to put in these um, eye patches from Pixie that I've had for a while. Hopefully they're not right up because i have had these for forever and i never use them but today's the day that i do use them um and i do have a little bit before i have to start getting ready for work so i'm just probably gonna log into my work computer and 
um, watch some <laughs> videos, some training videos from when we had training last week. Because last week, a lot of things didn't make sense to me. Now they're still not going to make sense to me. But, like, the majority of it isn't. But some of it might now make sense because i've seen like i've heard people actually talk about documents and talk about the deal in this setting so i should be able to place some of the words a lot more than i was when i just didn't understand what was going on <laughs> for my lunch time i have an appointment to go get my hair blown out and curled near somewhere near the office and then i have my um i have my headshots at 1240. I'm gonna have a meeting, so I'm kind of busy. I'm kind of busy. I should not have changed shirts for Charlie because it is so cold. <laughs> but let's go get our hair done. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear the AC, it's, it's doing its own thing. Uh, but today was a good day, not too busy. Um, like I said earlier, I'm on a deal, but I'm not getting work for the deal yet. It can happen at literally any moment. At literally any moment, I thought it just happened. Um, but I'm on this deal and I'm just trying to relish the times where I'm coming home at 5 p.m. because it will stop at a certain point, it will stop. So what I can do right now is really just enjoy this time. Really just enjoy. Uh, but the photographer, <laughs> I had a really good experience with the photographer. I just did not realize how serious they took the, the firm vibe, the firm pictures and things like that. Um, so I had no idea that they were gonna have like people to touch up your makeup, people to touch up your hair, people to just like, get da, 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 da. I had no clue, if I did, I probably, I don't know if I would have, you know, gone to a salon. Though it was nice to like be in a salon in like middle of the day at my lunch break getting my hair done. It felt very, felt very like New York. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're just kind of serious about that. And some people had like negative experiences where they were like, you're smiling way too big. You need to, you need to tone it down. So it was fun. I had a good time. I brought home dinner so what i've been doing starting yesterday i started yesterday should bring home dinner because <laughs> we get breakfast and lunch for free and they stop lunch at 2 p.m uh, which is very very nice but i don't like my hunger is really weird right now so i don't sometimes i don't eat breakfast sometimes i don't fully eat my lunch so i just take to go a bunch of food for dinner and it's just i'm gonna just use it to subsidize my my grocery bill because if i'm already in the office, I already have to be in the office three to four times a week. Let's go ahead and cut that grocery bill in half through the firm and then up my going out bill because you go out in New York once and it's like $200. 
but the hair looks cute. We have a grilled shrimp patouche salad that I may eat today. I also really enjoyed this, like, what is it? A pasta salad with pesto on it. Delicious. Got some of that. Um, yesterday, I brought home a, a wrap that I did not finish, but it was also very delicious. And of course, can't go downstairs without coming back with a package. Overall, I really need to stop buying things immediately. I need to stop buying things immediately. It's not even a joke. I get paid next week. <laughs> and I need to stop buying things. But until then, we've got a new coat from H&M, of course. I love H&M so much. Um, I decided to get a darker gray Oh, the one I have is lighter gray. And I feel like dark gray matches my outfit and my vibe a little bit more than the light gray, even though I will be keeping the lighter gray one because it's also really nice and I'm going to wear it. I just, I want options. I just want some options. Ooh, she's cute. Cute, not as heavy as the other one, but I did also get this one in a uh, medium instead of a small, my normal size because I wanted it oversized and she is cute she's got a cute little pattern to her she's cute you know <laughs> and there it is good morning happy friday immediately we've got a new new okay look at this new mirror we've got we've got a mirror and i just can't believe i lasted that long without a mirror really as a content creator person who is constantly staring at my own face. It truly is impressive. <laughs> but she is big, large, the way I like it, and she is from Target for a reasonable price. And that's what we like, and I really like the simple design. The wood and the, lo the nice little simple design, I will have everything linked, of course. Another new end to the apartment is my dish rack. <laughs> My little dish rack. I did not have a dish rack, you guys. I was just putting dishes in my sink, which is just currently dishes in my sink right now. But I got a new dish rack. She's cute. Not all the way functional. I like this because it's supposed to be like a drainer thing. So it like extends, right? So if there's water in here, it'll go straight to my sink. Um, the only thing is she just doesn't have a place to put utensils. But that's okay because I'm only one person. I'm only one person. She's pretty though. Look how pretty she is. Anyway, um, like I said, it is Friday. I'm making breakfast right now. I just opened these avocados I bought when we first went grocery shopping together in this new place. And it's perfect. So, I don't know if that just means like the produce at my local grocery store is just that good. Or the GMOs they use <laughs> is just that good. Either way, I'm fucking with it because this is amazing. All of my groceries that I bought literally two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. Perfect. Amazing. Um... Anyway, again, Friday, right? Um, no one's really blowing up my line, but of course we have to be on, we have to be logged in. So I'm gonna spend um, the rest of today, like I spent the rest of my week, just doing trainings for my specific practice group and trying to learn as much as possible. Even though I feel like, again, my learning style is not tell but it is show so i feel like all of what i'm going to learn really is going to happen when i get my first assignment and i struggle through it um, but i'm trying to catch in or at least catch up to as many words as i possibly can so i have some trainings that i'm watching on like commitment papers and just a lot of like words <laughs> a lot of words are being said um, so i'm gonna spend uh about eight hours of my day today doing that and later on today so see i am single in my 20s in new york right and uh i was gonna go on this date today to go listen to some jazz music because i've really gotten into jazz recently uh, i like listening to bossa novas in the morning so that i'm getting ready for work um when i take my shower and i really want to listen to some jazz so i was gonna take this boy and then i realized maybe i just don't want to talk to anybody at this jazz thing <laughs> So I might end up going by myself because maybe I don't want to talk to people. <laughs> maybe I want to talk to people there, but you know, I don't want to have like an obligation to talk to a boy when I'm there. So she even like sucks because this is like, I feel like this is like one of my new hobbies is I want to just listen to jazz. I want to listen to live jazz and I don't want to like 
have like an awkward date possibly an awkward date doesn't seem like it would be but like possibly an awkward date that would ruin that experience for me so yeah i might end up going on love but we have so many options for plans this weekend like i have so many options for plans i have to text my friends we're gonna get together and try to figure out what we're doing what we're doing this weekend because we're gonna be out Ooh. and my baby's already so we are going to be working from bed today and also from my couch just like going between those two to watch trainings because we don't have a desk uh, a desk chair yet um i think i've mentioned before that my firm gives us like a stipend like a technology just basically like a home setup stipend it's like kind of a bit of money i thought it was a lot less than it was um so i'm waiting to get approved for my corporate amex card well i did get approved and it's been shipped i should be receiving it by next week so I, as soon as i get that corporate amex card we'll be buying using my stipend um i just don't want to do it with my own money because you know I, they will reimburse me but it takes a while and i don't want to see more of my money held up I decided that we were gonna go, obviously, hence why I'm ready. I've been meaning to wear this dress, first of all body continues to body my body has never bodied this hard do we see this are we looking at are we looking at this come on but anyway i decided to just go ahead and have the date today instead of just pushing it to a different date because i was thinking what if i'm just what ifing myself out of the situation i feel like the first date after getting out of a relationship is always the hardest date it's the one that you always push back you push back you push back and i may be blocking my blessings what if this is my husband huh what if this is my husband and I'm just not going because of whatever I'm, I'm, you know, telling myself. So we're going to go. This is the dress. It is from Bershka. I've been meaning to wear it. I bought it when I was in Barcelona and my toes are out. You guys have to see all of this stuff, <laughs> but my toes are out. And you guys, I love the French tip, the French whatever on my toes. They make it look so sexy. I don't know why I've never gotten this before. I love it. And yeah, I'm taking my Fendi bag with me. I'm also going to take like a bigger bag just so I can put my Fendi bag in it and avoid any type of hassle. Um, I was offered a car. <laughs> I just don't like want, you know, a first date to know where I live. So um, I'm going to go by myself and then maybe later on we'll work up to that. But yeah, you guys, my hair too. Hello? Hello? Yeah. I'm just feeling myself today. I'm feeling myself. Let's go listen to some jazz. Let's go listen to some jazz and hopefully have some nice, some nice conversation. class and i'm rushing because new york is never feeding me there's always something going on allegations right because i walk right into the veterans day parade why did i just have to march 
with the van for a little bit <laughs> to find an exit so I can so I can get to where I'm going like hello <laughs> they were nice though <laughs> hopefully I get to class on time because the rules strict and I keep forgetting that I could just vlog in public that I could just do this in public and nobody gives a flying fuck wow love that for me rushing to brunch i'm meeting crystal we're going to angels of harlem and this is just what we're wearing today um i really need to fix this little area but i just feel like have the looks just been giving more than usual recently i've just just been giving more than usual recently um but this is what we're wearing i'm gonna take my teflor bag the black one and i'm gonna head out just already called my uber because i just don't have time the parade the veterans day parade really just put a damper <laughs> All my plans thank you for their service though thank you for their service but you know you know i didn't know how to get out of this town it kind of felt like hell for a little bit there just just a little bit but yeah this is what we're wearing i see you guys at brunch It's payday, and I would be 10 times more excited if the pay was in my account. Because I woke up, cracked my eyes open at 3 a.m., <laughs> checked my bank account, and it wasn't there. And I was like, okay, I'll give them, I'll give them till I wake up again in the morning, no 7 a.m. And all of my coworkers are talking about they got paid. So I checked my account again, nothing's there. I was about to walk into the office today with questions with a lot of questions that needed to be answered. <laughs> Cause I know they know what my direct deposit is cause they just like refunded me money two days ago. So I'm like, I know you guys know how to behave. So what's going on? Log into my pay stub, I got paid, I did get paid and obviously I'm rich. I'm rich and everybody needs to step their money up. I'm rich, but it's on my account. So now I need to call Bank of America <laughs> with a lot of questions because what is this <laughs> what is this i need to see my money in my account but to be honest even with the tax situation in new york because the tax situation in new york is pretty bad like <laughs> it's a lot of taxes being taken um it's still a lot of money and i can't believe that i get paid this money every two weeks that's actually kind of crazy now bank of america needs to get to get it together get it together because, listen, I will not be played with. My money will not be played with. <laughs> we got our money. Happy, happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Um, This is the outfit for today. This is the outfit for my first payday. Skirt is from ASOS. I showed you guys this in the hall, and it is everything I ever dreamed of. Everything. Look at that movement. Look at that movement. The shoes I literally just got. I know I said I was going to buy any more shoes. I lied and you guys should have known I was lying. And if you didn't know I was lying, do better. But these shoes are from Amazon. Super comfy. I just like these a lot better than the other ones. So maybe I'll get rid of my other black like pointed toes because I think these ones are just a better basic. They're a little bit taller than I usually like my heels, but they're so comfortable to walk in, so I don't mind. Um, skirt again, and then we have this top that I stole from my mother, but that is the look. I mean, really, really, get into it, get into it. <laughs> it's all another flower the sun.
this dress is making a comeback you guys remember this dress from last summer that i thrifted it's making a comeback today i'm excited uh yesterday was such a cute little day it was just a cute little day a nice night out with the girls um the place that we went to had amazing food amazing food and i was really surprised because when we walked in obviously it's like a nice spot uh, but it was very Instagrammable, and sometimes when you walk into those Instagrammable places, you really have to lower your expectations about the food. <laughs> about the food, because basically half the time you're just paying for vibes. But it was a really, really nice spot. The drinks were super strong. We only had like two, two drinks in total, like one cocktail. Well, okay, <laughs> one cocktail one shot of casamigos blanco and then they came over afterwards and gave us a shot of i don't know what it was but it was free so of course you have to do it and um you know i did wake up at 3 a.m and the casa blanco or the shot that they gave us afterwards was fighting back fighting back uh, but it was just so good the um what would i recommend i would 100 percent recommend the spicy tuna with crispy rice it was so good that is the best spicy tuna crispy rice that i've ever had in any spot it was decadent that's the word decadent okay like that it was so good i'm just imagining it again just ugh. but i'm going to head to work in a little bit in like 15 minutes after i finish doing all of this stuff and yesterday i had a call you guys know i'm on a deal but like i haven't gotten any work from the deal because it's just such a I think it's a there's something happening and it's such a high level deal that's it's hard to work me into the deal at least yesterday i talked to the mid-level i just reached out to her and i was like hey just want to you know want to make sure that you you know you know i'm available and that i you know can try and help with anything <laughs> with anything that you may need no matter how small like i just really want to like start you know doing some tasks and she just was explaining to me how you know everything is very high level and she isn't the usual associate on the deal so she's also kind of finding it kind of tough and um today though we're going to meet and she's going to explain to me what's going on with the deal because we had a <laughs> we had a call yesterday and you know i'm on this call like i said i'm really just a girl like i'm on this call <laughs> i'm on this call briefly understanding some words but the majority of the words are very just even with like my training it's just kind of i just need everybody to slow down <laughs> i just need everybody to take a minute and slow down so i can understand what's going on um so i'm just gonna go and talk to her when she's free today and we're just gonna go about talking you know what's going on in the deal so i can just at least understand fully what's happening even if i can't like help with you know doing some tasks at least i can understand so the next time there is a deal that is enough for me to do work on i kind of know what what the catch is i know what the deal is you know what i mean and we are ready to go with the ac blasting of course yep yep funny i don't think i've ever been inside grand central station but we are in grand central station on our way to the apple store because my tech stipend includes upgrading my phone and I have the Apple XR and I'm pretty sure if Apple does one more upgrade, my phone's gonna just combust. So I need to upgrade it and I'm gonna get more space and I have enough of my tech siphon, like quite a bit that I can just pay the phone off right now. But honestly, I'm going so that I can um, test the selfies because I want the newest iPhone, the iPhone 15, but I've heard that it changes like your face, like it distorts your face and i don't want to have to deal with that so i might just get the iphone 14 pro beautiful man on the train just just beautiful and i'm like sir you serving face like that on a on a thursday afternoon <laughs> anyway let 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 me focus <laughs> uh i got my new this is food 
because I am determined not to cook dinner tomorrow and also Saturday and possibly not Sunday um, and not buy food either. So that's food. And we have my new baby. Actually, she is right here. Red iPhone case because red, of course. Um, I decided to get the iPhone 14, not Pro or Max, because honestly, I really like my iPhone 12. This one right here that I got from a brand sponsorship. The only thing about it is that the uh, storage is really low. It's like 60 or 82, something really low like for a content creator a content creator this is just not enough for me so i just didn't want anything too fancy and i just decided to go with this and i'm really happy with it i'm happy with my little thumb my little thumb and that beautiful ass man on the train like what was going on what was really going on so obviously because I had an iPhone XR, I have not been to the Apple store or any type of thing like that in a couple of years, right? When do they start charging us for just like the things that were included? Because why do I have to buy, I have to pay extra to get the box for my charger. I have to pay extra for a screen protector. Since since when? And then the, the employee is going to be like, oh, it's, you know, it's because they're trying to cut back for environmental purposes. So guess what? After I put this food away, I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat dinner because I'm hungry. And then we're going to hit the gym. I'm going to come back and dedicate at least 30 minutes of my time to figure out what Apple is doing for the environment. Because this is actually, this is actually crazy. Especially if you're going to slow down my old phone on purpose and then I go buy a new phone and I can't get the box to my charger for free, y'all better be saving hella trees. Saving hella trees. I, I'm, not even, I'm not even joking. I will be Googling. Also, I just want to say how crazy it was to be in the Apple store buying a phone straight up. I don't think anyone in my family has ever done this. I have never just like, okay, I want a new phone. I'm never getting a new phone. And I'm gonna just put the car down and immediately pay for the phone in full. Like that has never happened ever. And also like it's just a whole different little mind thing because it's not like my money. That was the like corporate Amex card and that was my stipend. And I'm like just spending a thousand dollars in like 30 minutes <laughs> to get a phone. Like it's just wild to me, right? It's just so crazy. And I know today earlier someone mentioned we were talking about like our um are monitors because i also bought a monitor like i they were telling me that i really need a monitor i never really used one in law school as you guys know i just used my laptop the only time i used a monitor was when i was studying for the bar and it was like a 60 dollar monitor but they were talking about buying like a 400 dollar monitor and i was like oh my god <laughs> oh my god <laughs> $400, like that's actually crazy. And they're like, oh, well, it's not your money. It's like the firm's money, it's your stipend. But at the same time, it's just like, this is still so much money. Like, I'm just not used to this. I'm not used to dropping half a grand on a, like, my automatic thing is to think of the cheapest option that still gets the job done. And I think I'm just gonna keep that mindset. I did buy a monitor, it's not $400. I think it's gonna get the job done. <laughs> I'm just like, ooh, all this money. about to unpack some packages i have so much i know these people are sick of me i know they're sick of me but uh, we're about to unpack all of this and the majority of the things in these packages have to do with a little secret i've been keeping from you guys over the next or the last couple of days so i know i mentioned earlier i had a little bit like a day where i just went through my phone my thousands and thousands and thousands of pictures deleting you know my last relationship and through that i also had to just go through living um having grace kelly you know getting her loving her her getting ill her passing away and it's just like a tough time for me grace kelly was is my best friend i miss her every single day i was really low-key shedding tears about her yesterday like last night just a little bit and 
I was just feeling like this very strong urge, like this sense to just go online and look at this one specific website. Uh, I've been doing that just like here and there since I landed in New York because I knew that I wanted to adopt again. I need to give another senior cat a home, love them, and then they pass away and break my heart. But I think that's just what I am on this planet to do <laughs> in terms of animals. And I've been looking here and there, just looking to see if there's any special cat that like calls out my name, calls out my heart, because that's how I adopted Grace Kelly. Like Grace Kelly, I had no intentions to actually like adopt a cat. I was just logged in one day and she just I looked at her, looked at her picture, and I just knew that was my cat, and she was. She truly was my cat, and lo and behold, I'm feeling this way. I'm holding Grace Kelly's ashes, <laughs> her little box, and I log in, and immediately, immediately, I feel a connection to this cat. Uh, at first, I thought it was Grace Kelly, because I'm pretty sure they are the same breed, but of course, they may look the same, but there are different cats. Her name is Lucy, and Lucy will be coming home today. Like, she's gonna be home um, around 1 p.m., 1.45 p.m. today. So I just ordered like a bunch of stuff. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be welcoming somebody, welcoming her into my home, into our little family, our friendship that we've got going. I'm so excited. I just felt like so called to look. I just felt so ready at the moment. I feel so ready now. I, I, I felt like this was going to happen ever since I got Grace Kelly's ashes delivered to me here in the apartment. I just knew, like I just, I just had a sense. I just had a sense and it's just, I'm so excited I could cry. <laughs> I'm so excited to cry. So I splurged and this is how I spent some of the money of my paycheck is to get a bunch of cat stuff. So we're going to unbox them and just put them around the house and get ready to to have a new family member. <laughs> yeah, and I also got stuff like other stuff too. I got stuff on my desk. I have a chair that my stipend covered. So we have a chair that we might put together today. Um... I don't think my monitor is coming today. It might be coming tomorrow. Maybe it is coming today. I don't know. We'll see. Let's let's just unpack these boxes. Your lips keep staring. Feels like 100 degrees. Takes only an inch. And it burns out with your cheek. The air that you breathe is a breeze. Inhaling your peace. That's a small part of you I'm keeping with me So don't get to shy when you're laying next to me It's you that I'm keeping in reach Swear it's eternity Spending one day without you and Everything She's so tiny, aren't you tiny? You wanna come out? <laughs> you guys, this is actually so crazy. Look how cute she is. I have all this hair on the floor. Ugh, but look how cute she is. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And then she goes, y'all, she's so cute. We're gonna die. She's just so cute. She's sitting. Oh my gosh. She's sitting by the couch right now, just exploring the apartment um, and scratching herself. Um, 
I can definitely see all these differences. Obviously the coat, as you guys can tell, the coat is very similar to Grace Kelly, right? But I'm so glad she has these specific things about her that make her different. Like her face has this like pug-like face, especially around the mouth. Um, and she's just so cute and way, I can tell she's way younger than Grace Kelly. Uh, a lot more agile, way curiouser. Like she's been walking around, she jumped in the tub, chilled in there, like she's, just doing her own thing right now and she loves the windows and i knew the windows would eat i knew i knew the windows would just eat i was supposed to go on a date tonight and i'm thinking like why would i go on a date tonight i have a child <laughs> i have a child at home like why would i go on a date right now like i might cancel that date i'm not even gonna lie to you guys so that we can like get used to each other in this little hole she's so cute oh my god do you guys see this do you oh, oh my gosh oh my god oh oh my gosh oh my god i want to pet her so bad because she's being cute like heavily pet her but apparently in her previous home she was with some seniors like senior citizens who went as hands-on with the pets grace kelly and the cat i had before grace kelly were also with senior citizens who ended up passing away and then the uh the cats had to go to the shelter but their seniors were way more like hands-on so that's why when i got them when i got grace kelly when i got my previous set they were a lot more like willing to be just like crushed by <laughs> crushed by my hands crushed by the love um this one lucy she has a different upbringing so that's something that's new for me also she plays which is why i got toys which is another thing that's new for me we're just gonna have to like get to know each other i'm just so excited i'm so excited but while i'm sitting here we have a chair my desk chair came, you guys, it's so pretty. I'm gonna try and show you guys like a, a head, like overhead of what it looks like. It is so pretty and fits underneath my desk. You might think that is just par for the course, but if you know anything about me, if you've been on this channel long enough, you will know I don't be measuring shit. I don't measure a single thing. I just order and when it gets here, hopefully it fits. Usually it does fit, kind of like this. And kind of like my my desk actually uh but yeah i don't be me measuring shit. so this was a pleasant surprise um and it just looks look i'm gonna show you guys so this is the chair this is what she looks like i got her off of wayfair i believe and this is also included in my tech stipend and i just really like how just nice it looks first of all okay aesthetics going crazy but she is also very comfortable i read the reviews and reviews was like she's comfortable um so i went ahead and ordered it and i'm glad i did like i said it does fit underneath the desk perfectly the way i need it to so that it's not too much of like an not an eyesore because it is really pretty just that doesn't take up too much space so when i back up you know it doesn't take up too much space i did also get these two because i'm trying to minimize the amount of things that are actually on the desk because the desk is not that big the monitor is going to be there i'm going to have you know i minimize the keyboard um from the bigger one i think i'm going to put the bigger pink one actually in my office if i really want to show my personality like that we'll see uh but i'm minimizing some things that um i feel like could be minimized so i can have way more space on this little tiny desk so i got this and i just i don't think i like it i like where the printer is i do like that i just feel like i don't like this and actually the more i look at it the more i think i just don't really need it um we'll see when the monitor gets here it should be here later today but if it doesn't take up too much space which i don't think it will and i have a space to put like pens and stuff because honestly how much am i really going to be writing with pen and paper anyway if I have a space to put pens, I'm probably going to do that. If I, I can also just like find a way to work a pen thing up here. I just don't think I really like this. Like I just don't think it looks very nice. So maybe I'm just getting too much like in the weeds. Like I don't know. Anyway, my philosophy with this whole home office thing is this. I have no idea what I'm going to need in a couple of months. I can only do what i'm used to in terms of like law school and like the bar even with like a monitor people are like stressed about the monitor and i'm like listen i've never really used a monitor like i'm not a monitor girl but i bought one and we'll see when it comes my needs what i have in my office my work from home setup 
will adjust as my needs adjust. Right now, I just don't know what I need. Um, there's more of a stricter in office policy at my firm. So I'm not necessarily being sure how much I'm gonna be doing stuff here other than maybe like weekends and Fridays, you know what I mean? So yeah, if I need a bigger setup, I need, I'll get a bigger setup. If I need more things, I'll get more things. I'm definitely keeping that in mind as I am using my tech stipend. Like I have money left over in that tech stipend so that I can get one a bigger desk or get a bigger monitor if need be, you know. So we're, we're thinking, but why not start off cute? Like, I don't know if this is not gonna work. And she's cute. Let's start off cute. <laughs> Y'all, as soon as I stopped vlogging, my monitor came. And at first I freaked out because I was like, <laughs> obviously you can raise this up. So it was all the way raised and I was like, shit, I'm gonna have to take this down and I'm gonna have to really talk all that shit I just did and then tell you guys I have to get a different desk immediately. <laughs> But now it also lowers um, and it's literally the perfect height for me and I can still like move it. I know it's all blurry. Hold on. There you go. I can still like move it and do everything I need to do. So I don't, what else do I need on this desk again? Can you guys tell me? Um, in terms of like just like pens, I feel like if I was a litigator, that would really matter. Like the stuff I have right here would really matter for me if I was like a litigator. And also if I want to, I was one of those people that need to print things out, read them to be able to just like annotate them to catch mistakes. But because of law school, what I'm used to doing is just doing all of that on my iPad. So to be honest, it's looking like this is most definitely going to get returned. Uh, these things though might be going to some 3Ls that are interested in bar stuff because those are my bar things. I don't really think I need highlighters. I'll keep a couple and then I'm just going to take, if I do need pens, I'm just going to take this, right? And then just like, right? Right. <laughs> I don't love this, the cords. But that's just getting in the weeds of things, I think. <laughs> and up there, I'll probably take the actual little Duke diploma holder and I'm going to bring it to the office and I'm gonna switch the actual diploma in there, my degree, into an acrylic frame so that we can have some more eye space because obviously this takes up some eye space. But y'all watch this, when I call her, she comes. Lucy, Lucy, hi Lucy. I mean, Lucy, <laughs> when I come, oh my, oh, hi, Lucy. It's a little bit later, and I just finished building the bar stools. I just decided to go ahead and do it, especially since I did cancel my date, so I can spend my time today with little Miss Lucy, who is over here doing her own thing. But I really like these. I think they were decently priced for how good they look. I got it in a reddish brown. And at first, I was a little bit weirded out because in my apartment in Durham, if you guys remember, if you're here long enough, I had like a little space where my island was where you could just like push the chair in and it was flush. So I was just used to seeing it like that. So when, you know, when it looks like this, when it's kind of like sticking out, I'm not used to this. But then I looked online and apparently this is just normal for uh, islands that look the way mine do. Like I guess I could get something that's a little less sticky outy. <laughs> But for the most part, nothing's really going to be as flush and still be like a decent seat. Because this is like, I measured it, you guys. I got my measure, my measurement tape out and I measured it and it's like eight inches. So I, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't know, but I don't think that's enough to work with basically. But they're cute. Look at them. So cute. And I just think this little corner right here is really coming together. I was a little scared that maybe it would, you know be a little too crowded but i think it's coming together nicely and i have a, di a dish you know right on my sofa <laughs> the camera quality on this continues to blow my mind on this new phone but we're in the bathroom you guys have been here already for quite a bit of time in the last vlog i'm pretty sure or even this vlog but something i just added as you can tell look i have these candles that i got on amazon they're not real candles they're fake candles i got these pink ones because i figured i'm trying to go for a spa look in here so why not really go for a spa look like i really wanted to take a bath i have this big bathtub here that i have not used yet and what i want to do is take a bath at least once a week at minimum just de-stress i could take more than that of course but just once as part of like my weekly routine to just 
de-stress and just you know like really enjoy my space continue to be grateful for the space so i got the candles of course everything will be linked i got the candles i got the little tray for the bathtub and then i have this little rest right here it's like a bathtub rest so that i don't get like my hair wet so the candles are my favorite part i think right now on camera it looks really more yellowish than it is it is more of like an orange warm color uh, but it's not translating well on camera but look at the vibes hopefully you guys can still pick up on these vibes i have them right there right there also on the corner over here where i'm also going to put the little headrest like this is really gonna just be such a transcending experience for me like i just feel like I'm honoring this apartment and it's honoring me. And I feel so good. I feel so good about all this. Like here's another look at it. Just really get into it. Get into it. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Good morning, little Miss Lucy. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Whole class today was so good, but I think tomorrow why did i sound like that one girl that makes fun of influencers when i said that so good <laughs> ah! uh but no i think i'm going to do the level one next week though i signed up for an intro because when you go on the website and you sign up they tell you have to do intro like they recommend like two to three times and i signed up for three times because i thought that the intro class hi lucy the intro class was different every single week but it's not basically the same exact basic movements just like getting it down pat and i feel like i already have it down so we're gonna switch to the level one for next week but i tried to like thrift a little bit afterwards and i stopped by the buffalo exchange and i was like why is a t-shirt 40 dollars at the thrift store like am i paying an enormous amount of money for my rent yes yes i am am i willing to pay 40 dollars for a t-shirt at a thrift store uh, I never, uh, no, <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, just crazy. So the plan for today, because I'm in a mood to like maybe shop a little bit. We're going to look around. I'm going to show you guys that I've actually built my, um, my media console, my TV console thing yesterday because I was really in the mood. I was like, fuck it. Like I already smell pretty bad. <laughs> let's just build everything right now so i don't have to do it today and i'm so glad i i don't because pole is low key like a lot of my body but before i do that i want to give a big shout out to saber it's like a security company they make a lot of like pepper sprays i have so many of them here you guys saw i got pr earlier on this is not pr actually and the reason i'm giving them a really big shout out is because I was actually supposed to do a branded like sponsorship deal with them. I signed the contract and everything, but it turns out with like the deadlines and things that the time that I would be posting would be after I started work and I can no longer do paid sponsorship. So I had to reach out to them and tell them that I had to basically back out of my contract. And instead of taking me to court, <laughs> instead of taking me to court, you know, they were like, oh yeah, totally fine. And they let me keep all the stuff they sent me. So I have hella pepper spray I have pepper spray with quick release key ring pepper gel which is probably better than pepper spray i have blinged out pepper spray and then another uh discreet 
pepper spray. I'm really excited about this, actually. I think it's a very, like, necessary thing because I live by myself. Um, and I've been trying to start maybe going on walks a lot more. So it just makes me feel, like, a lot better. Not that I'm walking around feeling I'm unsafe at all, like, at all. But it'll make me feel ten times better. <laughs> I think on the to-do list today, too, is obviously more important than decorating is to start my bar like admittance application like i'm gonna probably do part one it's just it requires so much i just feel like i need to like put a whole entire weekend aside to do it and i'm just not in the mood <laughs> i'm just not in the mood to do it so we're gonna start it today i also want to maybe figure out my benefits like figure out what's going on with a 401k because people tell me i need to max out my 401k before the end of the year i'm like what is that um and my health benefits I don't know if I told you guys, but I waved out of it for the rest of the year because I was like, oh, it's only two months. It's already November. I'm feeling pretty healthy. And then a couple days later, why did my tooth start hurting? And it's not even like it's a new tooth. All of the dental surgeries that I've had in my adult years have not, non, none of them have been like new teeth. Like I don't have bad dental hygiene. When I first moved to this country, I'm pretty sure that the the little quick medical like dental places in like the lower income areas just took advantage of people and I had a lot of like oh I feel like surgeries I didn't need and throughout my adult years I just spent money redoing these surgeries on these same exact teeth like it's driving me crazy because it's so much money so during the bar if you watch those vlogs I had to get a root canal on a tooth that I had got surgery on when i was like nine or ten years old and then they fixed it they did whatever and i was in dallas and they did stuff and now it's hurting and get like dude what's going on and here is the media console you guys uh, i will have everything linked if you're interested um just for your own you know purposes oh lucy just rubbed against my leg hi lucy uh but I built it. It was supposed to take like 15 minutes. I heard someone say 15 minutes. It did take me an hour because I like fucked up, but you know, you know how it goes. I really like it. You guys already know I like my warm wood <laughs> color, but the biggest thing about this is why did I think I needed a frame TV? Can someone remind me? I'm really losing my mind. Like I didn't even have a paycheck yet. And I was over here like, I need a frame TV. I got this TV when I first got to Durham for $20. And I don't know why I thought it was a lot smaller than it is. Like, this is perfectly fine for the one person that I am in my apartment. Like, let's take a seat. Perfectly fine for me. Perfectly fine for me. I think what we're going to do today is maybe get some ideas of ways to decorate this space in here. I think it would be nice to, like, lighten it up because it is dark wood. And I have quite a bit of dark wood in the, in the room. So it would be nice to lighten it up. And what I'm thinking above it right there um, is probably some plants. We'll see if I can actually get that done because that's what I wanted in my apartment in Durham. I just like never did it, but I really like it. I think it looks really nice. We're going to get the wires thing fixed up, but it looks nice. Oh, an angel. Oh my goodness. But the thing is, the thing with her is she loves words of affirmation. She's doing all this so I could call her pretty. But like if I try to pet her too much, she's gonna be like, she's gonna swat a little bit at me. But if I call her pretty, <laughs> she'll eat it up. <laughs> you guys, the bath yesterday was absolutely insanity i 100 percent recommend getting these little candles i will 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 put them in the description if i forget please somebody remind me because it just transported the entire experience that was just i was in there for at least an hour i was wrinkly as fuck when i came out like it was amazing if you want to upgrade your bath time your shower time get these candles get them get them get them get them Okay, so for today, we have two versions of the way the day could go. There is this party called uh, Fun with Friends, second block party. They did do a lot of stuff in the summer. I didn't know they did things in the winter too, but they did. And my friend Crystal and I bought tickets earlier in the week. Um, I just texted her to make sure that we still want to go. I'm down to do whatever. Like, I'm down to go and also not to go. I think I would be more jazzed to go 
if I had my entire outfit here, but I don't. And I had to order some stuff last minute because I realized that I don't really have a lot of shirts. I have a good amount of basic like jeans and stuff and some pants, but I do not have a lot of like shirts, like t-shirts, streetwear stuff, going out stuff. I, I had to get rid of a lot of them because after I, I lost some weight, so. I was like, damn. Um, and also, we paid um, $50 for the ticket, so we should definitely go. <laughs> we should definitely go. And my commute there is amazing. Like, the train will take me directly in front of the venue and then take me directly home. So, I really, we, sh we should really go. But also, I don't want to get out of my house. So, we'll see. It's from 4 to 10. It's in Brooklyn. So, we'll, we'll see what happens. That's version one. Version two is I wanted to start going on walks on Sundays. I want to make Sundays like my going on walks day. I want to go to Central Park. I've been here for almost a month. I haven't been to Central Park. And I want to go to Central Park, go there, take a nice little walk around, a little hot car walk, listen to my podcast, and get myself some flowers. Because when I moved in, I had flowers because of my sister. Last week, I had flowers because of my date. And because I canceled my date on Friday, I now have to supply my own flowers. And I love having flowers in my apartment I just feel like I just feel like it's it so that's version number two which is a whole a lot more wholesome and then we'll get to pick out like outfits for the week uh, for work even though next week is Thanksgiving week so I feel like a lot of people are not gonna be in the office like at all like we have the 24th and the 25th off I don't go in on Monday so it's really just looking like Wednesday Tuesday Wednesday <laughs> Back from our little impromptu <laughs> shopping session we had to go for like one thing and then of course just more just more stops i realized there were h&m was around the corner sephora was around the corner i was like mad as well um but here is what the outfit that i envisioned uh in my mind came out i think it looks really cute um i got these shoes from amazon i'm trying to decide which ones i want to wear because with this one it's still really cute it's flat it's comfortable there's space in there i did see one in for uh, on forever 21 that was a lot like i don't know i think it was a lot nicer <laughs> and it went all the way up i could also like put it down if i wanted to so maybe if i don't end up using these shoes today i will return them and then get the ones from uh, forever 21 because i actually really really like those ones it was really cute but the thing i like about this one is the detailing there's you know it's the cowboy boots detailing i like that but then you have these shoes and these ones are like eight dollars i think i got them on amazon or aliexpress or Shein, one of those websites i just feel like it gives grown it gives what i'm like trying to give right now you know you know <laughs> because if i'm not too careful i feel like this outfit can give like schoolgirl. so i like put the leather jacket on top the top here is from uh, forever 21 it just it says like stockholm and then the skirt y'all need this skirt okay i hate to encourage you to spend money i hate that i hate that for us hate it okay but you need the skirt girl this is everything i got it in black too but i got it in medium and it's way too big so i'm gonna have to purchase the skirt again <laughs> online because it didn't have a uh, small in black in store but this is just so cute and then fuzzy hat fuzzy red hat i've always wanted to wear these fuzzy hats i'll see them on pinterest like the black girls hot black girls but you can't sit but those black girls will always be wearing these hats and i always wanted to wear them but y'all i got a big head <laughs> I got a big ass head, so I'm really surprised that this fits. I kind of feel like it, I kind of feel like it goes, you know? Like, does it not, you guys think it's throwing this off? I don't think it, I feel like it's a nice little pop of color, you know? And you guys know I love red. <laughs> I'm at this Mexican restaurant next to the venue, um, waiting for her stall, and they literally just said that they don't have food at the venue, the actual uh, party, so I'm going to get some tacos. Uh, but on my walk here, <laughs> First of all, I'm really happy that I didn't have to like hype myself up to go to the subway. I've never been in the subway with just like a fancy outfit before with no like big coat. Like I, oh, that H&M coat that I always wear, I always have that coat. So this is the first time I'm just like legged out um, 
he heals out everything and everything was everything was great everything was good everything was perfect um then i get here and i'm some man who's also going to the party he starts talking to me he's like a dj and i can tell whether or not he's trying to hit on me or what's going on and he's like no i'm a dj you know i'll bring you and your girls out okay, okay yes and then some old woman <laughs> saw my outfit and scoffed at me <laughs> she looked at me and went Ugh. this is dying so I'll probably vlog on my camera on my phone um, but yeah we're also gonna like pregame because why not <laughs> like the drinks in there are probably so expensive but we look so good today we look so good today